How a dance? That's good, isn't it? Look what's stuck to my fingers. Just one back from Nuremberg, and this is what happens to them. But aren't they cute? Little finger puppets. Three sorts, a lion, an elephant, and a monkey. And you just put them on your fingers and have fun with them. The lion's quite fierce, so you keep them under control, but if they want to have a little tap dance at the end, so much the better. So there's something that I found a delightful at one of the stands in Hall 4, I think it was, at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. And I've never played with finger puppets before, so for me it's quite a, quite a novel experience. I brought about half a dozen items back from, from the toy fair. It's the biggest in the world, there's more things to follow. But here's some examples of some of the stuff I've found. That's a very nice one to start with. This one from Fun Promotions is a well-known toy, but they've done a very nice job of redoing it. I think this is a, a nice one here. And then through the ring, if I can get it going, it sort of sometimes goes through the ring by magic, but it's actually curling all the way down. Wonderful thing, so simple for small kids, because the actual string itself is so light, it only needs a small air current, and it blows all over the place. What a nice job they've done from it, though, haven't they? I've got about four or five designs for many years. That's the latest version. I think that's very cute. Well done, Michael's crowd. Good one. On the stand from India, I found this charming little thing which I took a liking to, and the chap took a liking to me, so we exchanged things, and this is what he gave as his part of the bargain. It's a little <coughs> musical instrument for small kids, but the serrations there mean you can make a nice noise as well. Or two. Very simple and very easy for small boys, small kids to have a go with. And something that I've not got in my collection before, so I'm very pleased to have this little musical instrument. Good one. Here's a more complicated one, but it's actually a very nice idea. It's a little box containing a little assembly puzzle which a child's got to do. And it contains three bits of card, which you assemble very easily, even with chocolate. It's thoughtful about the kids love a bit of chocolate and sweets. And then there's some lots of interesting facts about this particular animal. And look how easy it is to make. It's going to be a fox. Can you see from that? And there's its bushy tail and there's its legs. And to assemble it, it's so easy, you just push it out and it's ready to go. Incidentally, that can be used as a stencil, so the kids can actually do the outline of a fox. Then he's got his tail, which is going to go at the back of the fox, which is over there. And then it's got... Um, Back legs, I think that one, and then front legs there. Put the glasses on and put this together. Take a small child a few minutes, but I think I can do it in a few seconds with a bit of luck. It's quite thick cardboard, but well done. So there we are, there's the front of the fox. Put it down a bit, there we are. There's his back legs. Just little U-shaped channels into, into each other. And then the last one is the, um, is the tail. And there it is, fully assembled. And a very nice little creature, all from this little kit. And lots to read about the fox's habit and its name and what the small foxes and baby foxes are called and the vixen as opposed to the, um, the male fox. It's a very charming little way of presenting to kids with animals and things they can make themselves, plus a little sweet as a present, a little gift at the end of the, of the, end of the play for time. So that was a very nice idea for the complete compendium. I thought that was very good. There's an extraordinary item here. It's, um, it's from a Swedish company who I've known for many years, Robe Toys. In it is a kind of bloom which I don't think I've sort of come across but never played with properly, which is bizarre. It's very, very sticky, very sort of gooey sort of stuff, but it's just a balloon and you can blow it up. And then you can um, seal it by just taking this out and it automatically seals and stays sealed, which is quite clever. Then they include lots of little bits in it, like this bit here, I can put it on the top, top there, that's a, a funny idea, you ought to have eyes and things, but what an extraordinary material it is, it's very squidgy, and to deflate it, you merely put this back in again, it'll deflate. So I've had a lot of fun with this, and uh, there were two balloons provided, that was just one to show you, but when you've spent a bit of time with it, it takes a bit of time to do, here's the final result, it makes a very, very nice little 
Perfect. I'll put it in the ring underneath. Look at that. My goodness me. I've got that funny thing on the back just as a counterweight. But, oh, you've got to have a smile. Look, look, you must have a smile. Let's put a smile on it. Let's put two black eyes, a nose, pink nose, and a thing to balance it. Very simple idea and very charming. And just one of the six items that I found at Nuremberg. But more to come.